My name is Jenny Allen. I'd like to welcome you to our fifth and sixth grade orchestra concert tonight. We always like to start with just playing, and I, I, I hope that most of you are probably like, wait, that's, that's it, they played one note, they didn't even get their bows out. That's where we start. Every single year, we start from scratch. I ask them every single year, so who already knows how to play all this music? Sometimes there's a couple, because they've taken lessons already, but for the most part, we've learned everything that you're gonna hear tonight since October. So I wanted to introduce to you, this is Miss Grace Wolf. She and I team teach fifth grade orchestra together. And so she's going to be standing in front of our fifth graders tonight. I'm going to be playing our piano accompaniments so that we can help us kind of stick together. So we're gonna give you a really super fast overview of everything that we know so far. So I'm gonna turn around so that they can see me. I can see them, I should say. <laughs> All right, fifth graders. They're really good at this one. Couch potato position. We've had lots of practice. And then they're going to show us the most perfect playing posture in three, two, one. Mm, not bad. So we look for feet flat on the floor, sitting on the front edge of our seat. Our backs are up nice and tall. We want our head to be up nice and tall. We're not leaning forward or tipping to the side, so we're sitting up nice and tall. Ooh, I think they just grew a couple inches. Then, I'm gonna have you set your bows down real quick because we learned how to play pizzicato to start. That's what we did with Let's Play Open D. That's the first thing that we learned in our book, reading music. So we're gonna show you our bow bunnies. So this is your, your other hand, your bow hand. Your bow, there we go, there we go. On our bow hand, right, our other right. So we do our bow bunnies and we, yes, no, I don't know. So we make our bunnies chew and we get our thumbs all flexible. And then from here, we make sure that we have the right shape, then we add our bows. So they're gonna do that right now. They're gonna add their bows, pick them up. And we always hold them up and down to, to do this bow hand because it's just easier this way. It doesn't feel, the bow doesn't feel quite as heavy. We look for pinkies up on top of the stick for violins and violas. We lean into our index finger. Cellos and basses, we work on waterfall fingers. So our fingers are nice and tall and water just drips right off of the edge. And our thumbs go on the back side of the stick. And we also have to have flexible thumbs and we lean into our index finger. So that when we put our bows on the string, we get a nice solid sound. So the rest of the things that we're gonna play for you tonight, we're going to play with our bows, which we call arco. That's the fancy Italian term. So we're going to be playing the rest of our songs arco. Um, I'm not gonna stop and talk in between every single piece. So I'm gonna give you all the explanations so that we can just play for you tonight. Um, the next thing that we're going to show you, we've got one other song before we start doing this, but we have worked on changing our finger patterns. So we're not just getting stuck in the key of D major, we move violins and violas, our second fingers back, and we learn a new pattern called Dorian, which is pretty fancy. You're going to hear a couple of songs tonight, the Mary had, then she lost her little lamb, and then she found her little lamb. So you'll hear that change in there. We're also going to play Hot Cross Buns Turned Moldy. So you'll hear that different pattern in there as well. I think that's all I need to tell your parents. And now we get to show them everything you know how to do. All right, let's go.
We're gonna do a really quick switcheroo so we can get our sixth graders up here. So just sit tight for just a moment and we'll be right back with you. So this is the sixth grade orchestra. We had a unique year. We all, we all know what COVID has kind of done to our lives in, in school and everything. And last year, we weren't able to start fifth grade beginners. So this year, we had fifth grade beginners. We saw them twice a week. We also started, and we didn't start till October because my room was not quite finished yet with construction. 
So we didn't start until October with fifth grade this year. We started the first day of school with sixth grade from scratch. They had not played the instrument, same thing I talked about with fifth grade. And we meet every single day. So you can hear the difference in two days a week versus five days a week, starting in August versus October. So this is what you guys have to look forward to next year. We start learning more music that we're going to play different parts, not just unison. We've got a violin part, we've got a viola part, we've got a cello part, we've got a bass part. Sometimes we even have two violin parts, so we have five different things happening at the same time. So that's what you're going to hear tonight. We have three more pieces that we are going to um, play for you this evening. And there, we are going to play not only what we just played tonight in 4-4, but we have another piece of music that's in 3-4, so we only have three beats in the measure. We also, you will notice, fifth graders, we go between arco and pizzicato in the same piece, and we can't set our bows down. We have to leave them in our hands. Watch and see how they do that. It's pretty cool. So we're going to finish our program for you tonight with the sixth graders. We have three more pieces. We're going to play Aeolian Rock, Chins and Pins, and Dragon Slayer.
right, before we play the favorite, Dragon Slayer, we have a couple of thank yous um, that I, I have a couple of thank yous I'd like to make. Um, first, to all of you that are here tonight, parents, friends, family, thank you so much for supporting your children in continuing to learn a new musical instrument. It's a lot of hard work, and I will fully admit it's sometimes not the prettiest thing to listen to. I hope that you have really enjoyed tonight the fruits of our labor. I'd also like to thank, um, we have a sixth grade parent, um, Marnie Peterson, that has been volunteering to come in and just kind of sitting in, playing with our kids and pulling kids out that need a little bit of extra help and just being another positive influence in the orchestra classroom. And I wanted to thank Marnie tonight for all of her um, time that she has taken and spent with us in the classroom. We really appreciate that. I'd also like to thank our administration. Mr. Heist is here tonight, um, Mrs. Taylor and Mr. Boyer, and of course, our wonderful, awesome, super amazing auditorium staff. We have something special here in Greenville. Our, they make us look and sound so good. So thank you so much, Chris Chapman, um, Jackie Carnes, and Jen Radke, and your whole student team. Thank you so much for everything that you do to help us look and sound great. We are going to finish tonight with our last piece, Dragon Slayer. I also, one more quick thing. Um, after we're done playing, fifth graders, we're gonna dismiss them to come back to the green room before we let the audience go so that it doesn't get too jumbled up here. And then the sixth graders will go back to their, um, their room as well. They're gonna pack up and they will come down and meet you in the lobby. We have another performance starting at 7.30 and another group of kids coming in at seven. So to eliminate the congestion back there, they will meet you after the concert. Thank you.